Hey everyone, this is Cody with Patriot Rentals and today we're going to be reviewing how to take the bucket off an E35 Bobcat Mini X. I like to wear gloves because I don't want to bust my knuckles up. First step is you're going to turn that machine on. So we'll hop in, let the glow plugs heat up, go ahead and get it started. Put down your lever. What I like to do is get the bucket position just like that so that it's got a little bit of curve. It's much easier if you have two people. Unfortunately today I don't have a spotter. So you come over here and there's two pins. You only need to take one pin out on one side. I like to make sure that I keep my equipment right where my bucket is. I like to have a pry bar and a hammer. So you're going to go ahead, come over here and you'll hit the pin. You want to hit it out. If you have the correct amount of pressure, it should slide right out. If not, sometimes you have to coax it out a little bit more. So once again, we want to set our equipment down next to our bucket. We don't want to lose it. We'll go ahead and hop back in. Put the lever down. Lift the bucket. Good. See how I relieve that pressure off of it? So go like that. Go down. Get those hooks to release. Take it right off. Yay! Let's see that in this <laughs> Well, look at that. He makes it look smooth as butter. Those hooks come right out. You haven't seen that since 1976, right, Tom? So now we would say we're putting on a different bucket. I'm going to show you how to do this. You want those levers to go right underneath. See how I get those right underneath the hooks and I lift up. You see that? And then you want to take your bucket and you're going to tilt it into place, just like that. Press it down to line my hole up for the pin to go in. Now once again, it's easier with two. See how off I am right now? My spotter would have told me I was off and I need to get this to line up to get this to go in. So now we're gonna apply some pressure. We're gonna apply some pressure or take off pressure, whichever one's needed, okay? So I've applied a bunch of pressure, pushing it down. And I'm sure there's other ways to do this. I've just found this is the best way for me. Take my pin and I'm gonna slide it in, just like that. There we go. Grab my hammer and get that pin lined up. Make sure that we get it all the way through. I'm gonna release some pressure off of it. Switch over to it like this. So I change my bucket pressure to this because I'm more comfortable this way. There we go. Get out, grab my hammer again, hit it through, just like that. So now my, my hole is exposed over here. The hole is right here at the top. Now my pin goes in. We used a different pin today. We usually have thicker ones, but we used a thinner one just for filming purposes. Um, then that is how you change the bucket. Whether it's a 12 inch, 24, 36, 36 inch bucket, that's how we change them on the Bobcat E35. Stop filming me! You're being a creeper!